if a female which expresses a recessive mutation is mated to males which are curly plum dikeet stubble. If the mutation shows up in the males of the first generation, then the gene is located on chromosome 1. It is a sex-linked gene. If the mutant phenotype can be observed in flies which simultaneously express the chromosome 2 mutation, such as curly or plum, then the mutation must be on Drosophila chromosome 3. If the mutant phenotype is observed in flies which are expressing one of the chromosomal 3 mutations, such as dikeet or stubble, then the gene for this mutation must be located on Drosophila chromosome 2. If, however, some of the mutant phenotype is observed in both the flies expressing a chromosomal 2 mutant and a chromosomal 3 mutant. So for example, perhaps both in some curly flies and some dikeet flies, then one would conclude that this gene was one of the few on the very small Drosophila chromosome 4. So if there are mutants which express both either curly or dikeet, if that was the cross performed, or plum and stubble, if that was the cross performed, etc., then this would indicate that the gene maps to Drosophila chromosome 4. Also, one of the reasons one might choose, say, plum stubble over uh, curly dikeet is that if you were trying to map a mutation which affected the wings, one might not choose curly and dikeet, but rather say the plum stubble mutations which don't affect the wings. Likewise, if one were trying to map a mutation which affected eye color, then plum would not be the most appropriate uh, cross to use.